I crashed this car, leaving a video shoot, trying to be cool, and I was fine. Let the car and you know, took a shit. Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man. You guys are used to seeing me making a lot of music, smoking a ton of weed, or on tour, ripping it up all the time. There's a few other things that I like to do. One of them is collecting cars. I linked up with Esquire Magazine to show you guys my full collection and some of the untold stories that go with them. Follow me. We're at my home in sunny California where I keep my exclusive collection. I'm gonna walk you guys through it right now. First of all, I have everything lined up from oldest to newest. That's my favorite way to do it. I'm a classic car collector, so the older, the better. So we're gonna start right here. This is a 56 Bel Air. The car came like this. I didn't have to do any paint. I didn't have to mess with the interior at all. The engine was completely redone. So this thing runs really, really smooth. It's super fun with me and my kid. It's got the police lights right here on the side so you can shine people at night and scare the hell out of them. It's a really fun family car. Good Sunday car. Gets a lot of respect on the streets. I feel like anybody who collects old school Chevys, they understand how important this car is. So as a collector and as somebody who respects this body of work, you know, it was something that I really felt like was important to have in the garage. And this thing works. It's a time machine. This is my most respected piece. This is my favorite car right here, like out of all the cars. This is my 61 Impala with the switches on it. D's on there, 13's cut, got system in the trunk, got the cruise life plaque. You'll see me in this on Sundays all the time. I did a couple photo shoots in this. The sounds in here are amazing. One of my favorite thing about my cars is the speakers. The speakers gotta be knocking. Whether I'm playing Rick James or if I'm playing Gucci Mane, you know, it's gotta sound good. We started a car club around COVID. It started with just me and three people and then it eventually turned into like 50 or 80 people every Sunday. We would go to Mel's Diner and this was one of my favorite cars to bring out on those Sundays because it's a rag. You know, you could drop the top or bring the top up. My son, Sebastian, loves this car. Him being in here, some of my favorite memories. We would pull up to Snoop's. Um, compound and have movie night and popcorn and everything so it was a real vibe like the same thing that you see when you get from this car the same thing that people did in 1961 in this car I was able to do in 2020. This car right here is my 62 Impala. Jet black, custom painted seats. Got the moon roof cut in there. This one also has switches on it. It's got extra batteries in the trunk, extra weight. So when I do have it charged up, I could do a standing three wheel. Like I don't gotta be moving, I don't gotta be in the corner. I just lift it up, blah, 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 so we could, you know what I mean? on them out there. Story about this one, I was shooting a video and Snoop told me, he was like, man, if they ever put you next to a car, you gotta own it. He was like, don't ever stand next to a car unless you own it. So this is my first time trying that. I've literally been building it ever since. I put some different color rims on it, changed the paint a little bit around, did the sounds, of course, and um, just did some things to customize it to turn it more into my own project. When Snoop seen me taking his advice and taking these cars and building them, he was so excited and he actually forgot that he even told me to say that but it reminded him now he has a crazy old school collection as well this is a 69 Chevelle it's a Chevy as well SS I kept everything clean on this one this was my first muscle car that I built when I moved to LA and it's crazy because it still smells exactly the same like the gas the fucking leather I crashed this car leaving a video shoot trying to be cool and I was fine let the car and you know took a <laughs> we rebuilt it and put it back together. And it's just a really good car. It's just a classic muscle moment. Whether it was like a late night at the studio or leaving a video shoot or something like that, just soaking up the whole West Coast vibe, just tearing it up on Hollywood Boulevard in a muscle car with the top down, you know, that's the dream come true. I was able to do it in this car. You'll see my personality throughout all of these cars. So this is just a reminder of, you know, where I come from and everything else is a reminder of where I'm going. This one's really, really special. It's a 72 El Camino. This is straight muscle, classic car club joint. This one's special to me, the good story about this. It was a gift. It came to me exactly how it is. Rims on it, leather in there. It drives great. Some of the other cars, you might just want to drive slow, but this one, you could really tear it up in it. The engine sounds great. Shit, we might start it up. You got the key for this one? The sound of this engine is warm. It's got that bass in it. It's deep, it's clean. You don't hear nothing rattling. So the other cars, I would say, are more like classic luxury. This is more like pick up your kids, get you to the baseball game. Sometimes you gotta keep it clean. 
All right, now we're moving into the higher years. This is a 92 C4 Corvette. This was in the bake sale video, me and Travis Scott. And this car was covered in like neon cookie paint. <laughs> but I looked past the cookie paint and I asked them to pop the top and there was a perfectly fine Corvette engine in there. And I was like, yes, give me this car. We repainted it, redid the whole interior, put some sounds in there. The fact that it's a 90s car, I get to play different types of music in here. So you might catch me slide to some Keith Sweat or SWV. I love the shape of the car. I love how fast it is and how it handles and how it drives through traffic. Like I need a car phone in there. I feel like a sleazy real estate agent about to go make some deals. So this right here is probably the car that I'm most famous for. This is the 2010 or 11 Dodge Challenger, black and yellow, SRT8, the Hemi, the big boy, the first one that came out of its kind, the one that made me had to move out of Pittsburgh because I was too popular and everybody knew who I was and they knew my car, but I didn't care because it was worth it. When I first got this car, I was a madman and just going to the clubs and going to the South Side and pulling up at house parties and just burning out in the middle of the street, just acting a freaking idiot in this car. All of those memories combined in one. It was a really fun summer and I, I, I tore it up. I was always into, you know, muscle, loud pipes, and just being able to burn out and just kind of show off that way. But I didn't really know about engines and things like that till I got older and started discovering what the inner workings and how these cars are as amazing as they are. So as soon as I figured that out, this car was going into production and I was like, wow, that's perfect. Yeah, it was right before I did Black and Yellow and I didn't plan on doing Black and Yellow beforehand, but I love the car so much. It's so fast, it's so beautiful, it's so sweet. It hugs the road and it was just the car of my dreams. So as soon as I got it, I went to the studio and I made the song and that became my first number one hit ever. I had a lot of mixtapes up until that point and that's what was able to afford me to buy the car before I even released the song. But I had enough money for the car before I had the song. So uh, that tells you a lot. I started my car collection. This is my first vehicle that I own. And this is my first, you know, muscle car. First thing that I could put down and say, you know, this is the Wiz Khalifa car right here. So it's black and yellow. This Hellcat came from my DJ days. Now, let me tell you a story about this. I became a DJ for about three or four years, and I ended up DJing at a Dodge party. They were releasing the new Demon, and they were gonna offer me this insane amount of money, but I'm like, you guys are Dodge. Why don't you invest that money in a vehicle and just give me that? And they were totally with it. So they took exactly how much they were gonna pay me for the show and customized this Hellcat for me. I was able to pick the color, got the racing stripe. It's the SRT is the big boy, and it's got a crazy engine in it, and it's super fast. And it literally like growls and like fucking crackles and shit when you drive it. My son loves this one. All his friends freak out when they see it. The only thing I really changed was the sounds out of all the cars this one sounds the crispiest it sounds the biggest it's got the 12s in the trunk and i'm mixing my album right now so in this process i need to know what it's going to sound like in different environments so i know if i play it and it sounds good in here it's going to sound good in the trap let's go to the rolls we started in 1956 went all the way around now we landed in 2022 rolls royce cullinan the truck the big boy with the black grill and the black angel honestly i feel like all of my hard work just went full circle and brought me here i'm a family man now that's what's really important to me is having that space for the kids it's got the stars in the roof people love that it just makes you feel like home it's literally a freaking mansion on wheels yo the way i feel when i'm driving this car is like really really accomplished really poised i don't know if frank sinatra ever drove but like frank sinatra if he was driving that's how i feel it's a v12 so the fact that it's a truck you don't lose any of the speed or the agility or anything like that the interior is crazy like sand in guam you know what i mean that's what the rugs feel like Everybody don't get in the rolls. That's why it's tinted like that, because what goes on in the rolls stays in the rolls. So there you have it. Thanks for checking out my sick ass collection and listening to all of my memories about it. Check y'all out next time. See ya.